Welcome to Circuit Technology. Today we are discussing the alphabet soup of IPC specifications and how to choose the right IPC standard that is right for you or your company. IPC was founded in 1957 as the Institute of Printed Circuits. Over the years, IPC has created and maintained standards for electronics manufacturing worldwide. These standards help train and certify the necessary workforce needed for quality electronics. There are different kinds of standards. First are soft skills. These include IPC A600 for bare boards, IPC A610 for electronic assemblies, and IPC WHMA A620 for cable and wire harness assemblies. Then we have our hands-on skills. These are standards include J standard 001 for hand soldering and IPC 7711 7721 for rework and repair. Our first standard is going to be the IPC A610. This covers workmanship standards and inspection criteria. Accept and reject criteria for all three classes of electronics and is an all soft skills class. This is a three day class for CIS and a four day class for CITs. Lectures will include common procedures, document and handling, including ESD, hardware installation, soldering anomalies, terminal connections, plated through hole requirements, surface mount technology requirements, component damage, and PCB laminate assemblies defect criteria, and solderless wrap. The IPC WHMA A620 covers also workmanship standards and inspection criteria, but these are related to all cable and harness assemblies. These also cover all three classes of electronics. There is an optional one-day hands-on that includes proper tool use and harness assembly requirements. Lectures for IPC 620 will include crimp termination inspection, solder terminations, connectorization, splicing, marking and labeling of harnesses, coaxial and twin axial cable assemblies, and solderless wrap. IPC A600 is a bare board inspection criteria. It is great for incoming bare board inspection and baseline requirements for PCBs. Lectures will include externally observable characteristics, internally observable characteristics, miscellaneous items, and cleanliness requirements. Now we will discuss IPC standards training for hands-on. IPC 7711-7721 is for rework and repair of PCBs. This is a 90% hands-on class involving component removal, replacement, and PCB laminate repair. This course covers hands-on skills that students will have to demonstrate. They will cover common rework and repair skills, through hole rework, surface mount rework, laminate repair, and conformal coating repair. Students will be taught multiple ways to think and handle reworking PCB assemblies. IPC J Standard 001 covers general soldering skills. Through the lecture and hands-on, students will learn and then demonstrate competent soldering skills. Trainers guide new students through the process of proper tool use and acceptable solder conditions. Lectures and hands-on will include wire and terminals, plated through hole, surface mount technology, and inspection of their work. Now that we know what the standards are, what is the best level of training for you? The CIS training, Certified IPC Specialist, is perfect for the operator and inspector level training. Next, CSE, Certified Standards Expert. This is mid-level training designed for quality assurance, being quality teams and quality managers. 
Then we have CIT, Certified IPC Trainers, is at the training level, persons dedicated to training other personnel in-house. IPC certifications are widely recognized in the manufacturing industry. Quality assurance should be at the top of every manufacturing floor. Industry recognized certifications show your dedication to quality to your customers. Increase reliability, retain employees, decrease defects, and enhance your bottom line. If you or your company are interested in our new remote proctoring capabilities, please contact us. If you would like more information on how remote proctoring during testing works, please click the link. Thank you for your interest in IPC certification with Circuit Technology Online.